Hey, this is Catherine. Welcome back to our Atomi YouTube channel. Today we have a special guest again. We have an expert talk with a specialist of our Casia 2. He's based in Madrid. His name is Dr. Felix Gonzalez. And uh, we have him here in a video conference. Hello, Felix. Good morning, Catherine. Very nice to see you. Would you introduce yourself to our Tommy followers, please? Okay, here we go. Okay, my name is, is Felix Gonzalez Lopez. I, I come from, from Madrid, Spain. I'm ophthalmologist, I specialize in refractive surgery and keratoconus disease. I've been working in the last 20 years in Clinica Baviera, group leader in refractive surgery in Europe. And I started doing implantation of posterior chamber facial lenses since 1999. And, and I have focused of then much of my concerns uh, as researcher and, and surgeon, allowing me to be one of the surgeons with, with more, more experience in this type of implantation in Europe. Okay, perfect. So what is the role of CASIA 2 in ICL and ICL surgery? Mm -hmm. The CASIA 2 represents a, an integrated imaging system for, for both the pre-op and post-op of the facky posterior chamber lenses. It shows a, an, an ambiguous view of the structures of the anterior segment, allowing to visualize the, the relationship of these structures with, with the ICLs. What is more, uh, with the new video software coming soon in the, in the CASIA 2 advanced versions, it, it lets to do it in, in a dynamic way. So what do you mean with dynamic way? Can you explain it? My studies over the last four years developing this new application of the video function have been in relation to this concept, the dynamics of the ball. The ball is essentially dynamic. It changes with the structure of the anterior segment, especially with the change of ambient light condition. In meiosis, for example, the ball decreased significantly because uh, mainly uh, the iris is pushing on the anterior surface of the ICL and the synergic elevation of the crystalline lens with the meiosis. So, uh, and vice versa, in my dress, the, the, the ball increased. You see, the, the wall switch between a scotopic and photopic in mean by more than 150 microns. So, so making any measurement of the wall completely inaccurate if the ambient light is not considered. It's not considered, yeah. Okay, would it then be eventually possible to establish like a standard vault value that determines the suitability of that lens within the eye? Uh, not, not completely. In, in that sense, I have recently introduced another concept that is the relativism of, of the vault. Uh, I mean, the, the vault should not be seen uh, as before in absolute uh, way, it's a simple value, but framing in the structures of the eye where, where the ICL is. Uh, for example, 1000 microns of vault in one eye may be quite tolerable, while another eye may require the less insane exchange. Okay, okay. Um, and what do you think? Will this new video application have eventually other applications outside of the field of Farkic lenses? Mm, yes, yeah, of course. Another very important application of the video function is, uh, and of which uh, we have recently published a paper in the journal Eye uh, Vision, is the possibility of measuring the, the pupil internally in a reproducible way and considering the relationship with the optical form of the lens. Uh, this is essentially in myopic Caucasian eyes implanted with ICL where the pupils are very large and, and can have consequences in the appearance of dysphotopsias in, in scotopic and mesopic light conditions. In, in addition, I, I think that this video application it will be a great help to, to understand the relation between the pupil with the different optical systems of, of premium pseudo lens, such as diffractive lens or edof lens. I'm, I'm sure that this new function will open a, a new way to interpret, interpret this, this one as has already happened in the case of, of facial lenses. Yeah, that's great to hear, thanks. Um, so as you know, Tommy Japan um, has implemented already two different ICL size recommendation formulas. One is Nakamura and the other one is Shimizu, which you have already taken a closer look at with our Kasia. Maybe you can shortly summarize your experience along with it? Yeah, um, both formulas are fine and uh, much better than, than classical star formula from the manufacturer. I prefer Nakamura's formula, as it considered the, the crystalline lens rise uh, for me as an essential par parameter in calculating the size of the, the, size of, of the ICL. Even so, um, the formula has some weakness and is not uh, yet adjusted in, in Caucasian eyes, which have a much larger anterior segment than uh, Asian eyes. 
in addition, it does not consider the dynamics of the ball. So there is still work to do in this regard. Okay, so we are waiting for this dynamic application then to come. It will be launched most probably by middle of next year with our new Casia Advanced. So we are looking very much forward to this. And um, also I would like to give a special thanks to you, Felix, with all your work with the Dynamic Vault and with um, also the new application which will come. We are so excited about this and it gives the Casia 2 also a new possibility and a new potential as you could hear from Felix. Felix, thank you so much for your time. My it was a pleasure for thank us. Thank you very much for, for, for your attention. I, I do hope to see you in real soon. And uh, I wish you a wonderful day. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much.